Hi guys. Happy Christmas Eve Eve. I am here to stamp with you tonight with my tea in my brand new mug. I'm so excited for this thing. Twice in one day you get me live, you guys. <clears throat> That's kind of exciting. Okay, let me get everything set here. I see a couple of you watching already. Welcome, make sure you say hi in the comments. Tell me where you're watching from. I'm so excited always to see where everyone is watching from. I just got this amazing coffee mug from my friend Sarah Simon today. Look at this. This is my Hallmark Christmas movie watching mug. I love it because I love to watch Hallmark Christmas movies. I have them on all the time. Hi, Jody. Jody, are you driving? Or are you here? Or are you leaving yet? What's your status? Hey, Robin, how are you? I think you were on earlier too, Robin, twice in one day. Jody is watching from Wisconsin. So you guys, I have to tell you this. <clears throat> My good friend, Jody, she and I connected over stamping and she lives in a total other state, Indiana. And um, we got to know each other because we were on the same stamping team and we have clicked and connected and it has been Oh my gosh, so much fun getting to know each other. We love stamping so much and that we have been stamping together, but we go like in messenger rooms or on Zoom and we stamp and it's just like we're hanging out with each other in each other's studio and it's so much fun. <clears throat> so that is a great um, segue into talking about tonight's event, Connect and Create. That is what I was um, totally had in mind when coming up with this event every month for um, uh, for putting together our paper pumpkin kit. And now it's kind of morphed into me giving you some ideas for the goodies in your kit. Hi, Sarah. Did you see I have your mug? It's full of delicious tea tonight. Thank you so much. I love this thing. Um, okay. For those who are new, I see more people popping on. Say hello, tell me where you're from. Let's connect with each other tonight. Um, it's hard during the holiday season to be socially distancing and maybe we aren't able to um, connect in person as much as we would like, but we can still connect with each other here. Uh, so for those of you who are new to my site or don't know me, my name is Rose Grunewald. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up, and that's just a fancy way of saying I'm your creative coach. I love stamping, and I love to make simple but stunning projects. So I want to make projects that you're able to duplicate really easily in your stamping space. Um, and stuff that isn't going to take you hours and hours because we don't always have hours and hours to make projects, right? I am stamping with you tonight here in my studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. Um, my cozy little room in a rural Wisconsin. So we are creating with our paper pumpkin kit tonight. And I'm going to put some light on the subject here. Hi, Sue. Welcome. Okay, in a little bit, I'm going to reveal the kit. But before I do, I want to give you a little bit of preview to next week's kit. Next week, next month's kit. Um, they have titled the kit Sending Hearts. And if this is a little clue, I'm guessing it's going to have to do with mail and hearts. And um, it says... Oh, there's like flowers on here. Hmm, I wonder what could be in there. I'm really excited for it. And this next paper pumpkin kit in January will be live during celebration. 
So what's cool about that is during celebration, when you hit, um, you know, $50 or $100 or $150, you get free stuff from the celebration catalog. And the cool thing is, is that is the perfect time to sign up for Paper Pumpkin. There are a few subscription options. You can go monthly for 22 bucks a month, or you can sign up for a one, three, six, or 12 month subscription. And look at that six month. Um, so the three month price, 63 bucks, you'll get a level one free item from Celebration. Six month, you would get a level two and 12 month, you're gonna get a couple level twos or a whole bunch of level ones. So um, celebration coming up starting January 5th is a really great time to think about renewing or setting up a paper pumpkin subscription and getting all sorts of goodies. There's tons of paper in the celebration catalog. So that would give you a great way to use all the stamp sets that you're gonna get in our kit. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Here is this month's paper pumpkin kit. This thing is so stinking cute. Do you love this? Look at those bears. Oh my God. I have to tell you guys, this kit is right up my alley. It's called Berry Comforting. And in every kit that you get every month, you get some instructions for how to put your kit together. So they're not leaving you hanging, guys. Um, in your first kit, your very first kit, you can see in this picture, there's a block here. In your very first paper pumpkin kit, you will get a stamp block that you can use to do all the stamping of your projects. So <clears throat> let's take a look at what's in here. Every kit, you get a stamp set. This month, the stamp set is gorgeous. I was playing around, so I've already used this Hooray stamp set. Um, we This month, we've got an adorable bear, these like leaves or fun little designs, um, this bouquet of flowers, and we have some fun sentiments. Hooray, you are on my mind and get well soon. So I love that this is gonna be pretty darn versatile. And then you get some other interesting inspiration and ideas. Let me set that aside. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, so now let's look at um, all the stuff you need to put together your kit. Um, this particular kit, we've got some adorable animals that we're going to need to pop up so you get your own dimensionals. I love that this is a big pack of dimensionals. You get um, all the stuff that you need to make the kit comes on these sheets that are really easy to pop out. They're already pre-cut for you. These are golden boss and they're gorgeous. Um, like here's one that'll have a circle layer and you just pop it out like that. Now, I will save a lot of these papers that these pop out from because like for this one, I could cut this off and use this as a frame on a card. So don't necessarily throw all these pieces away. All right, here are our beautiful card bases that come in this month's kit. Oh, you also get an ink spot. So you literally have everything that you need to make the projects in this kit. The only thing you might have to provide is scissors. Um, and sometimes they include twine that needs to be cut. That's the only thing you have to provide. Hi, Julie, welcome. Thanks for watching. We've got some more really pretty card bases. And these, I love this coral color. Isn't it beautiful matched with that gold? Okay, and you get all of the envelopes that you need to send your projects. And these have a white um, area for doing your addressing. These are really, really nice, thick quality envelopes. I love that. Okay, some more of these pieces. 
Uh, what else is in here? <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. The really great part. The really cute, adorable part. Okay, all these little cutouts. So you've got like this bouquet of flowers, some cupcakes, a heart. There are these uh, stinking adorable koalas. This raccoon and a bear. And all of them just punch right out of here. So I am going to just take a minute and show you how easy this kit is to put together. So I'm going to make the koala card. Punch these out. And I think the koalas are going to hold a present. Let's do that. And I've got a circle here. Got one of these. Okay. Getting all my supplies going here. <clears throat> Whoops. Ah, uh, my office right now is like a total disaster area because it's Christmas. I have like nothing done. We have presents to buy yet. Oh my gosh, I have done no baking and I'm feeling like um, some treats. So I'm going to want to do some baking tomorrow and boy oh boy, I got a lot of work ahead of me to do that. <clears throat> okay, I'm trying to get all my stuff <laughs> lined up here. All right, what do you guys think of this kit and all these adorable pieces in it? I'm loving it. I have to be honest, I'm going to make some alternative projects for you tonight, too, but I had a really hard time, and I'm going to tell you that I had a hard time designing them because this kit is so stinking adorable and set up so perfect. I really had a hard time, like, that's how I would put it together, too. I'm sitting here like, okay, that's what I would do with that. Um, and that is adorable just as it is. So um, I hope that you like what I put together. I felt like I had a little bit of a creative block. Okay. I'm going to glue down this circle here in the center of our card. And we can do some stamping. I'll use the hooray. Are you guys ready for Christmas? I can't believe it's Christmas Eve Eve. Holy cow. You know, growing up, I have to say that Christmas Eve was probably my favorite day of the year. I liked it even better than Christmas. Um, we had such a fun, fun tradition. My uh, grandma and grandpa lived um, in the country. They lived on the farm first and then they moved to the house you know, kind of down the road from the farm. Oops. This was, redo this. Um, and that house had a big pond and like 40 acres or 80 acres or something like that. And a bunch of uh, four wheeler trails. And we used to go out to their house in the morning. We would spend all day outside. Um, okay. These, I'm just going to stop with my story for a minute here to show you that these little hands, they pop right out of here so that you can slide your heart or your gift or your cupcake. You can slide it right in there. See, so it looks like they are 
holding this present to give it to you. Isn't that a cute idea? Um, anyway, uh, <clears throat> and they would, we would ride around on the four wheeler. My grandpa would pull us in this sled that he had made that went over the snow and we would go on the pond, which was frozen and we would ice skate and we would go ice fishing and oh my goodness, we would um, sled down the big hill that led down to their pond and we'd play crack the whip kind of behind the four wheeler. It was like the funnest thing. Um, and then we'd go in for lunch and my grandma was an amazing cook. So of course she always had like ham or a roast and potatoes and gravy and corn and oh my gosh, it was really good, delicious food. And we would eat lunch and then we would usually play a game or play cards or something like that. And then we'd go back outside and do it all over again. Okay, I used a lot of dimensionals on this. I'm just gonna pop this up here. Okay, one of our cards in the project kit is done. That's how simple this is. And isn't that flippin' adorable? I love this. I absolutely love this paper pumpkin kit. It might be my favorite ever. So, um, oh, and then look, if it's right in this cute envelope that matches. So that's super adorable. All right, so that's how easy it is to put together. Now I'm gonna show you um, and a couple ideas for some other stuff to do with your kit while I'm telling my Christmas Eve story here. <clears throat> uh, let's see here, I got my paper cutter. And I better clean up this stamp. This is in my, I don't wanna get ink all over. Okay. I am going to cut, this is going to be our card base. This is a piece of soft sea foam. Cut that in half so that we have our standard five and a half by eight and a half um, card base. And then I'm going to, I'm not done cutting this yet though, folding this in half. Burnish that edge so it's good and tight. And then I'm going to take, uh, did I do this wrong? I totally did this wrong. <laughs> Let me start over with a new piece. I got to get it out of my file cabinet here. Okay, let's try this again. We gotta cut it in half the other way. Okay, so four and a quarter down the center, four and a quarter by 11. And then I'm gonna score it at five and a half. Then fold it. That was the wrong way, you guys. Okay, now. I'm going to set up my fold on the two and three quarters line like so and cut this off at two and three quarters. So we've got half of it cut off and half of it still here. Okay. Happy mistake. I know I've got some, oh my gosh, Bob Ross always says that happy mistakes, right? Um, we're going to use this actually too still. And then I'm gonna take, I need a little bit bigger piece and I like the striping that's on this envelope. So I'm gonna cut apart this envelope so I can use it. So I just line up the folded edges here in my paper trimmer. 
and I just cut them off like so. Then it opens up and because I cut off the bottom, this part falls off. And what I need for this, let me look at my measurement notes here. I need a piece that's four and a half by three and a half. So three and a half by four and a half. And we might use this for something. So I'm going to set that aside. Okay. I think we're done with this now. I could be wrong. I won't put it too far. <sighs> okay. Now, I am going to turn this piece. Here's what I'm going to do. This piece that I cut off, one side is the stripe side, the other side is my envelope side where I would address my envelope. What I'm doing right now is centering it here in my card base. So I'm just watching around these borders like so. And then I'm going to put some glue here. We're only going to glue the one side of this. Okay. Make sure that's nice and straight and centered. That looks centered to me, don't you think? Maybe down a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to fold this over and glue this down. I see a whole bunch more of you just popped on and joined me. Please say hello. Tell me where you're from. I'm so glad that you're here. I want to connect with you. We all want to chat together. Um, I love getting to read all of your hellos and where you're from. I also love it when you share the love and help support my small business by sharing my videos. So if you could just hit that share button down there, I would so appreciate it. Okay. So now we've got this funky looking card, right? Okay, well, I'm gonna take a couple more pieces from in my kit. <clears throat> While I'm looking, I keep telling you my Christmas Eve story. Um, we'd come in and we'd eat lunch and we'd play some games and we'd go outside and do it all over again. We'd come in for dinner and have like leftovers and you know ham sandwiches and stuff like that. And then after dark, um, usually my uncle went to milk cows when he had the farm and then he'd come back and after dark, we'd all be sitting around and Santa would visit. And oh my gosh, it was just so much fun. It's like my favorite, favorite night of the year. We have Kim from Maine. Hello. Oh, yes, Jody. This is a fun fold. Um, Margaret Brady. I don't know if you go by Meg or Margaret. Um, thanks for watching, Sue. My grandson just said hello. Oh, hello back. And thanks for sharing, Julie. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> okay. So we've got these two uh, pieces that came from our kit. And what I am going to do right now is adhere this square and I like the stripes to go up and down. So I want to adhere that and this is exactly the same width as this piece that I cut out um, from the kit. So I'm going to adhere that and what I'm really looking to do here is make sure that I've got borders around here that are really just kind of pleasing to my eye, okay? And we can adhere the whole thing. I'm using my seal because you know that when I use stamp and seal, I hear angels singing. It's so smooth and wonderful and I love it. Okay, so I am going to line this up further out here. 
like this. <clears throat> okay, so it's glued on here. And you can see that when I open this up, I see this pretty striped side. And um, I've glued it right to this extra piece here. Okay. And now I have this, uh, I don't know what color is this, Rich Razzleberry. You could do this one of two ways. You could either glue this on or you could use dimensionals and pop it up. I think I'm gonna use some dimensionals tonight. Um, but before I do that, you know, I love ribbon. I love twine. I love all things tied in bows. So I'm gonna use a little bit of twine on this and I, there's just a very hint of white here in some of these stripings um, and on our cute little critter that we're gonna use. So this is new. You'll be able to get this um, after January 5th. This is the snail mail twine combo pack and it comes in whisper white or white and I think this one is blushing bride and I'm going to use the white here so before I adhere this on we're going to do a little tying around it Julie shared Kim shared Arla shared thank you so much for sharing I really appreciate that okay so we're gonna wind this around um, I'm going to do three times here. Oh gosh, my snips are like way over here. I'm going to snip this off and tie this in a little bow over here on the side. Like this. What are you thinking so far, huh? It doesn't look like much right now because we've got some weird colors going on on my card base, but I think you're gonna like the finished product. I'm gonna trim this end off. Trim this end a little bit. Okay. Let's pop this up. Where the heck did my dimensionals go? Here we go. <clears throat> All right. See, I'm using the dimensionals right from the kit. I didn't even have to dig into my stash. So that's always nice when you make these alternative projects. And you know, when I make these alternates, um, I try really, really hard to use mostly stuff that's in the set because, you know, some people are just starting out and that's why they love a paper pumpkin subscription. Um, you may not have all the fancy stuff that I have, so I like to show you some fun things you can do with the goodies in there. Okay, we're going to pop that up just like so. So you see I've got this subtle border. I probably could have um, honestly moved this border over a little bit, but that's okay. It is what it is. <clears throat> um, okay, now we need a critter because they're just too darn cute not to put on here. So let me find it. I think. I'm going to go do this raccoon. All right. And thought I lost my dimensionals again. Let's pop him up on dimensionals too. So what are you all doing for Christmas? I would love to hear your holiday plans. Share them with me in the comments. 
I want to feel festive and see what you guys are all doing. Okay, I'm gonna put our little raccoon on here. Funny story about raccoons. When John and I were dating, <laughs> um, we were talking about <clears throat> like animals in the cornfields or something. And he talked about how raccoons <laughs> like to be in the cornfields and like eat corn. And I said, raccoons? Don't they just eat garbage? And he laughed and laughed so hard. He goes, well, the city coons do. This country girl did not realize that raccoons ate anything besides garbage. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. It makes me laugh every time I see a raccoon, I think of that story. Okay, so here's our outside. Isn't that cute? I feel like I don't need a sentiment. I can just have this little adorable raccoon handing you a gift and you get the point, right? But it would be kind of fun to stamp the inside. So I've got a piece of Whisper White here that's going to be, see how it's exactly the same size as this layer that I cut here. I want to make sure that it is like perfectly lined up. I should have laid this one down first. Uh, but here's what I'm going to do. Now that I know where it needs to go, I'm going to lay one side and then the other. Ah. So you can write in here. Cute. Um, and if you wanted, you could stamp this bear. I already glued this in here, but we can make it work. Here, let me grab my, I don't want to stamp off the edge. So I'm just going to grab a little post-it here. And line this up so that I protect the edge of my card. Have you ever done this before? I always keep um, post-its on hand so that in case I glue stuff down before I'm supposed to. <laughs> Never, not me. I'm like always moving a little too fast. <clears throat> um, I can there you find the right size block here. I can um, still stamp on it. There we go. See, he fits perfect on my block. I'll get out my, I think I'll do cinnamon cider. That seems like a good bear color. Oh, you guys have such fun sounding traditions. A Christmas brunch with the family, a small family celebration. Sue says immediate family gathering tomorrow to celebrate Christmas. I know you have a Christmas Eve birthday, right, Sue? Um, lots of eating will be involved. I'm really super excited for the eating myself. Okay, we're just going to stamp this little bear here. Now look, I didn't even ruin the paper. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I love that adorable little guy. He's just so stinking cute. It reminds me of my dog, actually. <laughs> There's something about his face. It reminds me of my cute little puppy, Dwight. Hi, Melanie, welcome. Thanks for joining. Glad you could watch. Okay, so our card is done. What do you think? This is an alternate, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. As I was playing around, um, here's one that I made that had a little bit more of that striping that you could see, and I actually wrapped the ribbon around the striping too. Um, so this is one kind of not I always go backwards when I'm trying to show this to you guys. So sorry. Um, this is one that's not popped up. Here's one popped up on Dimensionals. 
pretty similar. Um, and then here's the inside. That is so cute. My family's waiting for the ham. Little do they know they'll be eating it for the next two weeks. You know, oh, speaking of ham, that sounds even. I have one more project for you guys that I'm really excited about. So um, I'm going to grab that. Um, John, we are having a small family gathering too at John's sister's house and John's dad, he smokes up a ham. Oh my gosh. It is like the best ham I have ever had. My husband does a really good job smoking ham up too. Um, but we're having that and some German potato salad. Um, John's stepmom makes amazing German potato salad. Charlene, I don't know if you're watching, but if you're watching, your German potato salad is amazing. It's so good. Um, and I'm bringing meatballs. I haven't had um, meatballs. It's my mom's recipe. I haven't had that in a really long time. So I'm super excited for meatballs. Um, what else do we usually have? Of course, all sorts of goodies and... Tomorrow I'm going to do some baking and make my favorite um, toffee bars. And I got these like chocolate covered crunchy chow mein noodles recipe that's really yummy. I'm going to make some of those and some ranch and olive roll ups. Ooh, those are really yummy too. So we'll have lots of food too. That'll be amazing. All right. So for this card, I'll be honest, I'm not doing too much different than the um, the card that the kit suggests that you make, but I did add a little punch of pizzazz to it. Um, and let's stamp the inside right away because we want this cute little bear to be on the inside holding his tummy because he's full from Christmas ham. Oh my God, that thing is so stinking cute. I love it so much. <sighs> I love this guy. See, if you're not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you are totally missing out on like the cutest stamp set ever. I love that little bear. Okay. So there's our inside, adorable. No, I gotta think about this for a minute. Yeah, so I gotta find the bear that I punched out. Does anyone see the bear? Did I punch out the bear? You guys are probably looking at it and screaming, it's on your desk, it's on your desk. But I do not know where it is. So I'll have to find a new one in here. Need something from here. And let's grab another bear. I'll probably find it when I move all my stuff. I don't know where it went. That's okay, I'll punch out a new one. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this piece of rich razzleberry down. <clears throat> hear those angels singing? Oh, I hear it. I love it. Okay. That looks pretty straight. Not bad, if I do say so myself. <clears throat> okay, so I literally just glued this piece that I popped out onto this card base. We've stamped our bear on the inside. And, um, okay, this little bear um, can hold something too, some of those goodies. So his little fingers or his little hand pops out here. I'm gonna grab my snips and do a little cutting and I'm just gonna cut out his belly. 
the light part here on his belly. Now, uh, this is going to be, I'm going to be honest with you, this is going to be a little bit hard to do if you don't have these snips. These things are amazing. They are super duper sharp. They have really pointy ends and they get into like the tiniest little places, which is awesome. So I actually kind of like to cut this out in little, little pieces so that I don't have to keep um, twisting my scissors around. And then we're going to get up here by his face and snip that. Okay, so what we have here is his empty belly, like so. Okay. Now, you know that when we cut stuff, we always save our scraps. So what I've got here, this is a piece of um, window sheet and we sell these in the big catalog. Um, this isn't very big. It's probably what, an inch and a half or so by two inches. Um, and this is gonna get adhered down back here, but it's sticking out kind of. So let me trim this. see. I don't want these corners sticking out past his face that you can see this. So we're trimming this up. Okay, so you see how I trim those corners at an angle so that when I flip them over, I do not see that um, square kind of sticking out. Oh, Robin said that card was cute. Thank you, Robin. I so appreciate that. And Melanie, thanks for sharing and liking. I really, really appreciate that. Okay, I've got my liquid glue here and I'm just gonna go and put a touch of glue. We're gonna glue this window sheet down and I'm just putting a touch all on the outsides of where I cut out. I mean, not a lot. We don't want this to like squirt all over the place onto the other side of our window sheet. Okay, we're gonna hold that down so that it dries. <clears throat> okay. And like when you flip him over, you can't even tell he has a window sheet in there. It just looks clear. A few new people hopped on. Welcome. Say hello. I love to chat with you and know where you're from. And thanks so much for joining. Okay. Now, I'm going to ruin the surprise. We're making a shaker card, if those of you haven't figured this out by now. Uh, so what we're going to do is get our foam adhesive strips. And these are just like dimensionals, only they're cut in long strips instead of hexagons like our dimensionals are. And these are super pliable and bendy. A few more people just popped on. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Um, so I'm going to start here. And what I'm doing now is putting this adhesive down. And I want to make sure that there are no um, holes that this I'm connecting all the spaces here that my little shaker goodies are going to fall through. 
So for here, I'm going to actually, I'm going to come up at an angle like that. And this thing just bends right along the curve of his little belly. Like that. I'm so curious. I have no idea if my if my husband's watching, but I wonder what he thinks of my uh, rehashing <laughs> rehashing my raccoon story. Oh my gosh, that still makes me laugh. Because we live out in the country, and what's really funny is, like, the first weekend we were here, our dog got into a raccoon. Like, my dog, who is afraid of his own shadow, got into a raccoon, and he's, like, parading that thing around, like... Oh gosh, it was like the funniest thing. I'm like, that dog is afraid of my purse. How did he get a raccoon? But he did. He is a hunter, let me tell you. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to save these. Actually, um, I need this to be kind of popped up the rest of the bear. So now I'm just going to take the extra pieces and put it along here. By his face, we're going to put a couple by his feet. Oh, Melanie is from Yuma, Arizona. Cool. I bet it's nice and warm there. Today it got pretty cold here. Really, really windy. I really was hoping for more snow around here for Christmas, but I'll take what we have. At least we have snow. I just want it to make ice so we can do some ice fishing. Okay, I'm pulling off the backs of these. And I maybe should have waited till I showed you what I was going to put into my, as my shaker goodies, but that's okay. Do that in a minute here. So the backs of these just pull off just like your dimensionals. This is like exactly the same material as your dimensionals. At least it feels like it to me. Okay. Alrighty. So I had to get my shakers ready. And this is new product. Again, you can't get it yet unless you're on my team. Then you can get it in the pre order. But for everyone else, you can get this um, January 5th. It's in the new spring catalog. It's part of a suite called Ice Cream Corner, and these are adorable little sprinkles. I thought these would be so perfect to put in the shaker. So um, these are like, it uh, looks like purple posies in there and some Daffodil Delight, uh, Coastal Cabana looks like it's in there. What's that red? Uh, Poppy Parade looks like it's in there. Um, really, really cute, fun colors. So I'm just going to take a pinch of these, set them in the middle of our card. And he's going to go over the top. So, oh, I can put more in there. I want enough that you can tell that there's some shaker stuff going on here, but not so much that the stuff doesn't move around in there. That looks good to me. And then we're just going to place our bear over the top. Right. Of course, one of these would stick. Just moving these around to make sure they don't get stuck under my foam strips. And this part where his hands come together, that's kind of a little skinny spot. So the part where my hands are on my waist is not a skinny spot, but on this bear it is. 
There we go. Okay. Push that down. Oh, look. He's got little sprinkles on his belly. What do you think? Isn't that cute? Okay. Well, I have more ideas for this. Don't you worry, guys. Um, okay. I want to do a little celebration, and we didn't do much stamping here on this card so far. So let's do a little stamping. Um, hooray. I want to stamp that, and I got to find. Here it is. So we will stamp our hooray. Actually, before I do that, I'm, I know what I want to do with this. I'm using a triple banner punch. I want to cut this like a flag. So <clears throat> I'm just going to stick this in here and line it up and snip like so. All right. Um, sorry if you guys can hear that. My phone is ringing and hopefully it did not interrupt our broadcast. It looks like it's not. Sorry about that. Um, all right. So let's do a little stamping. I'm going to stamp this close to the end of our flag here. So I hope my head is not in here too much, guys. Sorry about that. Hooray. Oh, cute. I love it. Okay. <clears throat> and this little flag I'm going to bring in from the side. Yeah, I think I like how that looks. So let's get a little adhesive on here. Not the whole way, because I'm actually going to trim some of this off. And place our flag. I think like this would be good. What I'm trying to do is I don't want this rich raspberry going right in the middle of my flag so okay then I'm just going to flip the card over and snip that off cute huh hooray um you know I gotta have some twine so I'm back to my snail mail um combo pack and I'm going to take this wrap it i just wrapped it on the inside of the card into the crease and i'm going to tie it in a bow here at the top oops i'm going to turn this guy upside down so i can tie it okay we're really blinging this card up, right? Shaker and bow and flag and I'm not done yet. <laughs> okay. And then I just uh, pull those edges. Well, that sure got twisted. Let me try this again. I don't know why this twisted so much when I was tying it. When I tie my shoes, I always twist my shoelaces. And I do that same thing when I tie these bows on my cards. But then my bow is all twisted around. And yeah. Okay. Sneak these ends. Cute. Awesome. Okay, well, he's got sprinkles in his tummy, and my guess is it's from this cupcake. So, 
I have, let me get my glue mat so I don't get glue everywhere here. Got my fine tip glue pen. And what else do I need? My take your pick tool. And we're going to put some sprinkles on this cupcake. So put a few dots of glue around. For cupcake sprinkles. And then we'll reach in here and put some sprinkles on. I'm trying to pick out different colors so they're not all the same. If you don't want to do this step, I understand. <laughs> A little intricate, but I wanted to match the sprinkles in his belly, his little tummy. Uh, let's do another purple. Here it is. I knew I had one out. Yellow here. And then my coastal cabana over here. Isn't that cute? The sprinkles right on. Our cupcake. Okay, now. He should be holding the cupcake, don't you think? So I'm just gonna glue this on him. I got a little too much glue there. So we're just gonna press it on. Make sure that dries. All right. Clean up my mess a little bit here. my glue caps on, and then we'll get the full effect. No, nobody wants my glues to dry out, do you guys? I don't think so. Oh, Melanie has a birthday coming up too, January 3rd. Happy birthday, Melanie. I bet you will get lots of pretty birthday cards. <laughs> okay. We're done, guys. Those are my alternative kit ideas for you. We got this adorable bear with the hooray and the little bow shaker card shaking in its tummy here. Isn't that cute? We've got our raccoon friend giving a little gift of garbage, probably, to his other raccoon friend. With our little bear on the inside. This thing is stinking adorable, you guys. Oh my gosh. And then we've got one of the cards in the kit that I loved with our koalas saying hooray and giving me a present. And of course, you could stamp the inside if you want. There you have it. Those are our projects for tonight. I hope that you had fun. Thank you so much for joining me. I've got a link up above there in the description for how to get your paper pumpkin kit. If you would like to subscribe and then you can stamp along with me uh, next month. Remember, I'm always trying to use the stuff in your kit. So um, you should be able to stamp right along with me and that would be so much fun. If you made these projects, you should share them in the comments, share a photo, I would love that. And if you need other supplies, I would so love to earn your Stampin' Up! business. You can shop my online store right here at countrycardsbyrose.blogspot.com. I would appreciate if you'd use my January 2020 host code G43ZNZBB. Um, I always send a hand stamp thank you to everyone who uh, purchases from me. I appreciate your support of my small business so darn much. Um, and I love to connect with you guys here. So 
I am going to wrap up and relax and get ready for some baking tomorrow. I hope that all of you have a very, very Merry Christmas. And I will see you again here Monday night for my next stamp class live at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So have a wonderful Christmas, everyone. I will be stamping again with you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.